Welcome to Moo Moo Math and what is a ratio? A ratio is a comparison of two numbers. Ratios can be written three different ways. Let's use the above pictures to compare suns to moons for our example. Ratios can be written using the word two, three suns to five moons, using a colon, three suns colon five moons, or using a fraction. Ratios are to be treated like fractions because they should always be simplified. Do not convert them to mixed numbers because we want to show a comparison of two items. Let's look at some examples of ratios. Order matters when writing ratios. Okay, first thing, uh, I need to correct this. We have a typo, it should be Adam. Okay, Adam caught two fish from the shore while Andrew caught six from his boat in the lake. Quite right, right ratios to represent the following situations. The number of fish Adam caught compared to the number of fish Andrew caught. Andrew caught two fish. Adam caught six, so we could write it two to six, or two colon six, or as a fraction. And then we could simplify, just like a fraction, so that would be one, two, three, one, two, three, or one, two, three. So every time Adam caught one fish, Andrew had already caught three fish. Okay. Next, the total number of fish caught compared to the number of fish. Well, the total number is Adam caught two, Andrew caught six, so that will be eight. And then Andrew caught six, okay, and we could rewrite it. Or, um, now, in this particular situation, do not convert it to a mixed number, but instead you can reduce it, and we know that two goes into eight, four, two, three or four to three or four to three and, I, and I'm writing it you don't have to write it in these forms each time I'm just showing you the different types okay next up you have for 24 students you have one teacher so write the number of students compared to the number of teachers okay so we have 24 students and we have one teacher so again you could write it like this or in a fraction form okay and finally let's look at a couple of shapes so we want to know the ratio of triangles to circles well there's two triangles and four circles so it'll be four to excuse me two to four or we could write it like this or you could write it in fraction and then we could reduce to one to two one to two one to two and finally the ratio of circles to the total shapes. So remember, order is important. Don't put the total number first. I've got to do circles first, and that's four. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six total. Four to six, okay? Again, you don't have to write it like this each time. I'm just showing you that. Oops, I couldn't see that just then, okay? And now let's go ahead and reduce. And so again, two will go into both of these. That would be two, two, three, two, two, three, and two thirds. Okay, so again, that's uh, how you set up and write ratios. Thanks for watching. Moo Moo Math uploads a new math video every day.